common forms, actually far too common, of car dealer deception often revolve around deliberately misleading advertising, pricing, and financing, among others. But don't worry, we're here to arm you with the knowledge you need to avoid these traps. From the classic bait and switch, which happens way too often, to the dreaded yo-yo financing, we'll break down the tricks of the trade that you need to watch out for. We'll even share some personal stories and experiences from viewers and our community members and provide tips on how to navigate the car buying process like a pro. By the way, we do love it when you comment on our shows, and by doing so, you could be featured in an upcoming broadcast. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and sitting across from me is the amazing Elizabeth. So buckle up, friends. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications if you haven't already done that. You don't want to miss any of our great shows. Let's get right into it. Remember that this kind of content not only educates, but also empowers consumers. And that's precisely what we're all about here. Let's get started. Here are a dozen of the most prevalent deceptive practices committed by car dealers. Number one is the classic bait and switch advertising that Liz mentioned. You've heard us say this before, but it absolutely had to be in this video. Bait and switch happens when dealers advertise a car with a great deal that doesn't actually exist or has already been sold to lure customers to the dealership, only to try and sell them a different vehicle, which is often more expensive. Has this ever happened to you? Number two, hidden fees. This is by far one of the most common complaints we hear from car buyers today. This had a lot to do with why we published our famous video, 11 Fake Fees, a video that is just as relevant today as the day we published it, four million views ago. Hidden fees is the dealer practice of adding extra fees that were not disclosed up front, such as documentation fees, dealer prep fees, or delivery fees, all of which can significantly increase the cost of the car. No matter what the fee is, it's regarded as being deceptive when it's not disclosed immediately. If this has ever happened to you, go back and review the recent video we did on federal and state laws protecting car buyers. Know these laws and use them to defend yourself. Number three is a yo-yo financing scams. We've been warning consumers about this one for years too. A common tactic used on credit challenged buyers. The dealer allows the customer to take possession of a vehicle on the assumption that their financing is approved only to later claim the financing fell through and use the opportunity to push the buyer into a higher interest rate loan or additional products claiming the bank wants you to have it. Yeah. <laughs> One of our viewers narrowly avoided disaster with this by acting fast when it happened. The cat mom writes, you helped me get out of a situation a few years ago. The dealers let me drive off the lot without finalizing the deal with the bank. And I was so happy that I was able to give them their car back and get my down payment back. Thanks to y'all, cat mom. We're so happy for you. <laughs> you are one of the lucky ones. Number four, misleading payment quotes. Definitely one of the favorite ploys by car dealers. They advertise low, low, low monthly payments. I'm saying low so many times because they do it too. Low, 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 <laughs> low. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All while hiding the terms, like a long-term loan that's more like a car mortgage and greatly increases the total interest you'll pay. Number five, forcing you into overpriced add-ons. Yeah. Selling add-ons like extended warranties, gap insurance, window etching, and paint protection at inflated prices often rolled into the financing without clear disclosure of their impact on the loan's terms and interest. This viewer, SoLife, dodged a bullet after visiting a car dealer recently. SoLife writes, A dealership recently tried to sell me a used car for $36,000, not including taxes even though the car was listed on True Car's website for 30000 They claimed the additional cost was for dealer add-ons that couldn't be removed because the work was already completed. I think they knew this when they put it in the ad. Of course. I didn't want to waste any more time, so I left. Precisely what you should have done if any of this was true. As I said, it should have been disclosed in the advertised price. Number six, undervaluing trade-ins. We call this trying to steal your trade. Dealers offering an unfair price for the trade-in vehicle, which is particularly deceptive if the advertisement claimed high trade values, like this dealer saying, we need your trade, we'll pay top dollar when you trade with us. This is pretty much always a lie meant to deceive you. Our viewer, James Weber, has seen this. James says, the dealers lowball your trade-in, so like a reconditioning fee on the dealer's vehicle is a total ripoff. Dealers don't sell cars that have needed a lot of work before going on their lot. Those cars go to the auction. Indeed they do, James. The reconditioning fee is just another ripoff, like admin fees, to maximize profit. Thanks, James. We appreciate your comment. By the way, we just published a show on how to value your own car, so go back and see it if you missed it. It puts the controls directly in your hands. Number seven is packing payments. Packing payments has been going on forever, friends. 
This involves adding products or insurance into the car loan without the buyer's knowledge or misleading them about the necessity of the add-ons. Mm -hmm. If you should notice and ask about this, they just wave it off with the very common lie. The bank wanted you to have it. Yeah, never. Number eight, spot delivery scams. Similar to yo-yo financing, but deserves its own category of deception. This is where the dealer finalizes the sale before the financing is fully approved, potentially leading to a later unexpected change in loan terms. So this time they actually have your loan approved, but want to push you into a deal that's even worse for you. This happened to a viewer from Seattle. They write, I had to go back and re-sign loan papers on a new car purchase. The bank said they wouldn't accept it, but the dealership rewrote the loan to add an extra 1000 purchase price and extra 1000 down payment. That was annoying to have to go back and the time lost. And terrible to lose the 1000 bucks. Yeah. Number nine, falsifying income statements. It happens far more than most people know. Dealers are known for inflating a buyer's income on the loan application, and they do it in the fraudulent attempt to get the loan approved, creating legal and financial trouble for you, the buyer. And by the way, friends, nobody committed this crime better than the big loser known as Andy Elliott. Our viewer Tom is from Oklahoma. He writes about Andy Elliott, saying his reputation is known all over the state for ratting out his friends to the FBI. They were all making big money by power booking vehicles, bribing loan officers, wire fraud, opening a pawn shop to let customers falsely pawn items for down payment money, predatory lending, falsifying incomes, and down payments to get loans bought, etc. Andy was the snitch and the only one who got away scot-free. He is now blackballed in Oklahoma and it's said that lenders will drop the dealership if they have him there. Nobody in Oklahoma will even come close to working with him anymore. Well, that's great news, Tom. Thanks for sharing. And by the way, Andy's old buddies are back in the news with this automotive news story. Number 10, the Foursquare Method. You'd have thought that this would have died out by now, but it's still in use. This is the dealer using a worksheet to juggle the price of the vehicle, the trade-in value, the down payment, and the monthly payment to keep you focused on the monthly payments while increasing the other factors to the dealer's advantage. But no, it's not dead as Rome Benny reports. Rome writes, I went to the dealership to buy a used car and they did the four square. Notice the car jump up a few thousand from $18,999 to $22,450 and told me I needed the extended warranty and gap because the lender required it. Is he just trying to grab extra money shamelessly? Yeah. No doubt. That's exactly what they're attempting. Good on you for getting out of there. Number 11, advertising only stock numbers. Dealers may advertise a car at a certain price but only provide the stock number which is difficult for consumers to track, ensuring that the actual vehicle with that price is never clear to the potential buyer. And number 12, credit score trickery. Telling customers their credit is worse than it actually is to justify higher financing rates. This is a huge reason why we say you should get pre-approved from your own bank or credit union before car shopping, or at least just get your free credit score. Because these practices can be both unethical and illegal, it is crucial for consumers to remain vigilant, always review all paperwork, and always consider your own independent financing options. And by the way, if any of this stuff happens while you're in the dealership, hold them accountable immediately. It's always beneficial to research market values for new and used vehicles and trade-ins and to be prepared to walk away from a deal that doesn't feel right. Let your feet do the talking. Friends, if you feel you lack the skill to avoid these pitfalls, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help and involvement from me or Kevin. We don't want you to get burned. It's easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select the package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, send us a text to 701-441-3399 and I'll send you a join link. For direct help, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99. This offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members only. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both Kevin and me, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk for you and limited expense. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. And although it's not listed as a benefit in any of the packages, I have personally called several members already. Also as an extra incentive for the first 50 members who sign up, and this is true for any membership level, yep. you will get a free copy of our car buyer's manual when it comes out, and that's likely to be around Christmas. We are making serious headway on it. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. As Liz said, just hit the join button below the video to sign up today. 
And as she said, you can just text her and she will send you the link if you can't find it. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a new member on the channel, that's awesome. Thank you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. And you know you do. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, We've got to go. go.